Hello, hi everyone. My name is Dr. Sana Khan, and you're watching our app that is Insta Prep. So I hope you all are doing good. And in this video, I'm going to explain you one of the very, 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 very important topic that is genetically engineered insulin. This has, uh, this question has comes like many times in your board exam. Plus, you get a lot of questions from this part in your neat exam as well. So let's clear your concept through me from this video. Okay, so genetically engineered insulin. So first, let me just talk about a little bit on insulin. Do you know which organ secretes insulin? Yes, absolutely correct. You all are correct that it's, uh, it's secreted by pancreas, but it's secreted from exocrine part or the endocrine part. Okay, absolutely correct that it's secreted from the endocrine part. So now what happens when this insulin production in our body reduces, it leads to a disease called as diabetes mellitus. Because what is the function of insulin? The function of insulin is to absorb the glucose from our blood, right? But when there is a decreased production of insulin, how will, we, it, how will it be able to maintain the blood sugar level, right? So it will lead to a disease which is called as diabetes mellitus. So now for that, we need to engineer an insulin which we can give to the patients who are having diabetes. So it's a, insulin, it's a peptide hormone and Edward Albert Sharpe Scaffer in 1960, he was the one who recognized about the insulin accidentally when he was studying about the islet of Langerhans. I know it's a little bit bigger name like Edward Albert Sharpe Scuffer, but let's remember it because it's very important for your four mark, four mark for your neat exams. So as I told you, the pancreas are the organ which secretes insulin, right? So who secretes the alpha, alpha, sorry, islet of Langerhans, usme se jo beta cells hota hai, that will secrete insulin. Okay. So now, Benching, Best and McLeod were the one who purified pure insulin from dog pancreas. So there were a lot of scientists who were trying to, you know, uh, in, uh, invent the insulin. So these three scientists, they thought that why not, uh, in, why not to produce insulin or isolate the insulin from dog pancreas? So they made an attempt to remove the pure insulin from dog pancreas. They demonstrated it. They administered this for the insulin, uh, this insulin to the diabetes patient. There were people who also extracted it from slaughtered cats and pigs. But this insulin was slightly different from human insulin. So they were trying to remove the insulin from certain animals. But after that, it came to know that, you know, this insulin is not the insulin which uh, matches to the human insulin. So this was the insulin which cannot be used to treat the diabetes mellitus in humans. So now, what, now let us study what is exactly the structure of insulin. Insulin is made up of total 51 amino acid residues. What is it made up of? 51 amino acid residues. There are two chains, A and B. Can you see it on the screen? The green color and the blue color chain. So chain A is made up of 21 amino acid and chain B is made up of 30 amino acid residues. Okay, so there are two chains, A and B. A is made up of 21 amino acid and B is made up of 30 amino acids. These two chains are joined by a bond that is your disulfide bond. So these two chains are held together by disulfide bonds. Now the hormone developed, this hormone insulin developed from a storage product in our body which is called as proinsulin. So now but this proinsulin doesn't have two chains. It has three chains. It has A, B and C. So now this C chain is removed prior to the insulin formation. Okay, while the final product that is insulin is being made, the C gets removed. Okay, and only A and B is there. We cannot use bacteria to produce this gene as it contains introns and they do not have any enzymes to remove it. So you cannot use bacteria also. So now let us see the structure of insulin. That is the structure of pro-insulin. I told you that pro-insulin is made up of three genes, right? Yes, it is made up of A, B and C, while the C gene is itself made up of 33 amino acid residues. But this gets removed before final insulin gets formed. So let us see who synthesizes insulin in our body. It is the chromosome 11. So chromosome 11 is a chromosome which helps in the formation of, which has an insulin gene, which helps in the formation of insulin in our body. So this is produced as a proenzyme that is processed to obtain the functional 
insulin. Okay, so we get a functional insulin from stored product. So main challenge to produce insulin was by DNA technology was to obtain insulin in its mature form. That is in the form where it is only having to having the two chain. So this was the main challenge for the scientist. So now Eli Lilly and company again very very important for your exam uh, exams. And this is an American company who prepared the DNA sequence corresponding to A and B chains of insulin. So these were introduced in plasmid of E. coli to produce insulin chains. So they were the one who finally uh, were able to produce the uh, the pure insulin, like you know the human insulin, which has only two chains, two chains that is A and B. So now these A and chain A and B chains were produced separately. They were extracted. And then they were combined by disulfide bond, and finally a human insulin was formed, which is called as humulin. Again, an important MCQ. Okay, please remember the company that is Eli Lilly company, and uh, the insulin which was prepared by them was called as humulin. Again, a very important MCQ question. So let us see by the schematic how they must have prepared uh, insulin by our DNA technology. So human cell. Obviously, they have to remove the DNA. They have to cut it with the restriction enzyme. Chain B of insulin, for example, they have extracted the chain B. Then the plasmid vector is itself again cut by the restriction enzyme, and it has the it has uh, you know it, uh, there is a place for the B chain to get introduced over there, and finally the recombinant DNA is formed, and it it is introduced now into the E. coli, and E. coli will multiply, and there will be a lot of E. coli with insulin formed now. The population of E. coli clones produce chain B of insulin. So this is how you can prepare the chain A also. Chain A and chain B are pre prepared separately, and then they are joined by disulfide bond. And finally, the functional insulin is being prepared. And now you are going to separate this by E. coli through uh, from E. coli by a treatment which is called as trypsin treatment. The host produced penicillase plus free for pro insulin. Okay, so let us see few more facts about your about it. Hakura is uh, in 1977 chemically synthesized DNA sequence of insulin for two chains that is A and B and separately inserted into two PBR322 plasmid vector. Then insulin production by our DNA technology is designed by Gilbert and Vilokomarov in 1978. The genes are inserted by the side of galactosidase gene of the plasmid. So these are few more facts. Sorry, these are few more facts which you should know about insulin. Okay, you should know about Hakura. It Hakura et al was the one who synthesized the DNA sequence of insulin, and he inserted into the PBR three twenty two plasmid vector. It's a very very important question itself, huh? PBR three twenty two plasmid vector, which will be studying in one of the videos. Okay. And then, uh, who who designed the RDNA technology for insulin production? It was Gilbert and Vilakumarov. I know it's a little bit difficult name, but still we need to learn it. <laughs> and the genes are inserted by the side of galactosidase gene of the plasmid. So that's all about the human insulin. From this entire video, I'll tell you what was the most important part. It was that pro insulin is made up of three chains, and insulin is made up of just two chains. Right. Eli Lilly Company was the one who prepared the humulin. These are the two things which you need to remember. You can't afford to forget for your NEET exams. Okay, and the entire question can be asked for your board as well. So that's all about insulin. I hope you have understood the video. I'll meet you soon with the next video. Till then, bye. Take care. Study hard. Work for your dreams. Bye.